Boy, we're really proud of the guest we've got on town in country time for you now. He's an old friend of ours, comes from down at WSM's Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, Tennessee. They call him the king of the hillbilly piano players. And, of course, you know who I'm speaking of, Mr. Moon Mulliken and Howdy Moon. Hello, Connie. Welcome to town and country town. Bless your heart for asking me to be here. I'm just tickled to death to get the I'm going to ask you a couple of personal questions, if you don't mind. Uh, when did you, when and how did you get that title of the king of the hillbilly piano players? Well, I don't know, Connie. Uh, somebody tagged it on me. Maybe they thought a lot of me. I, I don't know whether I really deserve it or not. <laughs> well, I think we'll find out in a minute whether uh, you should have it. Uh, Moon, I understand that you used to play piano with an er another very good friend of mine, uh, ex-governor Jimmy Davis of Louisiana. Is that correct? I sure did, Connie. I started working for Jimmy in about 1940. I worked for him about four and a half years when he was commissioner of public safety and stayed with him until... He uh, was inaugurated governor of the state of Louisiana. And then when he was inaugurated governor, what happened to Moon Mulliken, the piano player? Well, uh, a funny thing happened there, Connie. He, he wanted me to come over to the mansion and stay a little while with him. So he brought me up, and I think there was 40 or 50 rooms. I haven't been through all of them. But anyway, <laughs> he told me to take my pick, and I bogged around those rugs there and fool with those servants trying to wait on me every time I made the least little whim all through the night, so I just packed up and told him I'd better get back where I belong, where it'd be a little bit more, you know, kind of home life <laughs> for me. Uh, I, I enjoyed it, though. Uh, Jimmy's a wonderful guy. He treated me real swell. He certainly is. Well, from uh, your experience in the governor's mansion, back to the piano. What kind of tune are you going to start for, uh, start with us, Let's or start little... for us at this time? Let's play a little blues tune called the Cherokee Boogie. Okay. Well, old Cherokee chief, he dances long, he does an Indian boogie to a white man's song, saying, hey, holy night. Saying, hey, holy night. Saying, hey, holy night. Oh, no, it's your night. Hey. Well, he dances over here, and he dances over there, and he dances with a squirrel called Standing Bear, saying, hey, holy night. Saying hey holy, saying hey holy, no hold which I hate. But he keeps on shaking his old timey hog saying, Hey, holy night. Saying, Hey, holy night. Saying, Hey, holy night. Oh, no, it's in our head. Well, he's a Cherokee chief, as you all might know. And he does his boogie saying, Now, one, you saying, Hey, holy night. Saying, Hey, holy night. Saying, Hey, holy night. Oh, no, it's in our head. And that's very fine, the Cherokee Boogie. All right, and uh, our guest today has always been a very good seller on King Records, and this has been one of his best. Moon, if you please, how about a little of You Don't Have to Be a Baby to Cry? <laughs> to be a baby to cry or to lie awake the whole night long when you leave me my golden rainbow disappears then you leave me a broken heart that's full of tears these ain't raindrops in my eyes why should I lie you don't have to be a baby Thank you. 
All you need is for love to go wrong You don't have to be a baby to cry Or to lie awake the whole night long When you leave me My golden rainbow disappears Then you leave me A broken heart that's full of tears These ain't raindrops in my eyes Why should I lie? You don't have to be a baby to cry Thanks a lot, everybody, and thank you, Moon Mullican. The picking and singing and the piano playing really has been good today.